when it comes to machinery, it seems it's getting bigger and bigger every year. And JP, the Simba gear is right up there. Yes, it is. Uh, this is a 4.6 uh, Simba Great Plains SLD. Uh, this machine, particular machine, would probably require a good 400 horsepower to pull it. Um, but it's only purely because the machine is designed to do absolutely everything in one pass to leave a consolidated seed bed for you to go drilling into. How rough can it be before you start? Uh, well, this is uh, primarily designed for uh, cropping situations coming out of stubble, uh, brassica land, vegetable country, potato land, any type of cropping country. Um, and the idea is to uh, a disc tying disc operation with a consolidation packer on the back. And what you're hoping to achieve is incorporation of the stubble and trash in the top in the first four inches. This uh, increases the organic matter in the top, works into the soil and increases the friability of the soil over a time. The legs uh, will go up to 350, 400 millimetres deep, so 40 centimetres. They are designed to go as straight in the ground and to fracture the land vertically. Um, this obviously increases the uh, ability of the water, uh, ground to take water and also helps with the movement of the capillary action of water upwards as well um, when, when it starts to get dry. And then there's another set of discs at the back to help incorporate some more trash, level the ground out and then there's a consolidation packer behind which firms the soil down to leave a corrugated finish so when it rains um, it won't lie flat and dead it, and when it dries you can knock that down and um, drill a little crop into it. So this is just one pass before you sow? Absolutely so the principle of this is you can go into the land with this and then you can run a systems drill behind and your season is done. Now what about the one behind me? So that is a uh, Simba Express 6.6 .6 metre uh, some of the principles are the same, uh, apart from it hasn't got the legs um, to fracture the s ground. So the uh, use for this machine is also into crop residues. Uh, a lot of people will have a, a system where they won't deep rip every year. Um, a lot of the reason for that is because they're not running too much traffic over it or things like that, uh, with cows and sheep and that sort of thing. So they will be able to um, incorporate their crop residues once a season with this machine and drill straight into it. But also another uh, part of it is to uh, get weed seeds to chit by working them in the top and firming it down behind. That retains that moisture and that gets the weed seeds to chit. Spray off into a, a stale, for a stale seedbed and then drill them behind. Made in the UK, it looks pretty robust. It is very robust. So this 4.6 metre behind, that is 10 tonnes, straight up. As you said, it does need a lot of horsepower. You need horsepower, but uh, what it does is it's obviously uh, doing an awful lot of work, so it needs the strength to perform that work, but also with the weight of it, you're getting the penetration into the ground, which is key in hard country, is getting that penetration to start it. And if you can get that through the weight of the machine, you're halfway there. Stones? Yep, fine in stones, no trouble at all. We've got quite a few of these in Canterbury Country and all over New Zealand, they're doing a fantastic job. Beet's becoming the crop for winter feed, so you've got a, a special drill for beet? Yeah, we've got a number of options here at Power Farming, um, but the main one is the Cavernland Accord Monopil, which is a precision planter for fodder beet and also can be used for chicory uh, and rape. Um, it's a gravity fed machine, so the seed heart is very low to the ground. So therefore, from the time it drops the disc onto the ground, it's only actually falling three centimetres. So the precision, or you always lose some of your precision through height of drop. By only dropping it three centimetres, you've got the best precision possible. Um, the model we're bringing in is E-Drive, so all the units are electric drive. There's no mechanical drive on it whatsoever. This facilitates you know, the ability to do uh, on-the-move rate changes, uh, both in centimetres uh, and in total area of seed. So, for example, you can um, program it in, say, to do 80,000 seeds a hectare, and it will do it. Or you can punch in, I want a spacing of 20 centimetres between each seed, and it will do it across the whole unit. You've also got the ability to change the rates in between each unit. So if you're putting tram lines in or anything like that, then you can do it. Uh, it's good in mulch ground and cultivated ground. Um, so, um, and it works off a parallelogram system, uh, so you've always got good contour following as well. It's a very accurate machine with um, very high seed placement. Does the job for you? 
Uh, 100%. Yeah. And we'll be back.